What up, you guys? This is your boy Shimmy Speaks. I saw. I'm sorry. I apologize for like the late review, but here we go. Before I get anything started, once again, my deepest condolences to Nipsey Hussle's family and dearest friends, and you guys to my people out there. You know, as Nipsey once said, if he ever gets taken out, we all we all gotta ride. We all better ride for him, man. I'm and I for one, I'm gonna ride for Nipsey forever. You know, I'm gonna unite. I want our people to unite and actually continue on. You know, his legacy and what he stood for. You know, educating each other, you know, and always backing each other up. Because we all know that this is not just some gang-related stuff. You know, it's deeper than that, as Tariq Nasheed said. But back on but back on track, Supergirl Season 4, Episode 17, All About Eve. It truly is all about Eve. And I liked how Supergirl, Lena, and Alex finally put all of their differences aside and decided to become a wonderful trio known as the Siren of Space-Time. You know, they because they're, they're, this whole episode was dedicated to finding Eve. Uh, Lex's crazy ass girlfriend. Well, they technically they found her, but she was more so like a hologram, and uh, that was all thanks to, you know, Eve's cousin that was getting experimented on, because we all know that Lena she found out that there has been a uh, an artificial Heronel serum. If you guys don't know what that is, that's the same serum that actually saved James's life and Lex's. Um. So they they end up finding her. And they track them track track Eve down to the White House. All they know that all in all, the, the hologram ends up becoming a trap. You know, Supergirl gets trapped in. Red Daughter takes the time to just flame, you know, the, the, the house, you know, just up a blaze. Thus making Supergirl in public enemy number one. Which means, which tells me, yo, Carl, you might want to lay down. You might want to lay low for a little while. Don't become Supergirl for a while. You know, lay low. Let the heat die down. Another thing I want to mention today in this episode is that, uh, my boy, my boy John, man, you know, he, he obviously he regrets killing Manchester Black because that's not the way he wants to do things, you know. But after really speaking with his father, after having a bit of a, a usual father and son disagreement after the yelling, you know, a good quick nap and some coffee, John realizes, and both Mirren, and his father Mirren, realizes this too, that, you know, John has to stop running away from his manhunter, you know, instincts, and start embracing them. And with Mira, he realizes that had he actually imparted his unconditional love for his son sooner, none of this really practically would have happened. You know, there wouldn't be a big fight between the two of them every single time they try to talk. You know, and then my boy Brennan gets his ring back. You know, and Kara tells him very, very, um, almost kind of too intentional, where she says, make sure you keep that ring on you. You'll never know when you need it. it kind of signals that, you know, what's about to happen next is going to be some big stuff going down. And then also we see Lena, you know, visit her mother Lillian in prison. Lillian always offering her motherly wisdom to her daughter and saying that, uh, saying things like, for example, you know, the heart is the most overrated organ. Hmm. I can kind of see why she says that. But Lena has her own powerful words. She goes on to say, look, Lex is actually the one that's been trying to kill you. Boom. Bombshell. How do you like that, mom? How do you like them apples? <laughs> right. But then also when it comes down to the whole framing of Supergirl, even Colonel Haley realized that this was on some BS because she all knows that she all knows that, you know, Supergirl, this isn't her MO, you know, to do something like this. So I'm glad she was on board. I'm glad Lena was on board. I'm glad Supergirl uh, Alex was on board. And then also my boy James, last but not least, you know, going through, you know, the traumatic event of being shot, you know, you know damn near being dying and or being paralyzed, you know, thanks to the hero no serum, the original hero no serum serum that Lena created. You know, not to mention there was a bit of a debacle between Lena and Alex, and that's how they actually how they formed, you know, the trio group I mentioned before, the, the serum, the sirens of space time. You know, when Alex had to break down to uh, Supergirl, that look, you know, Lena's project actually helped many of you, millions of people. Anyway, back to my boy James. You know, obviously dealing, with, you know, being dealing with something so traumatic, he has his sister Kelly, who specializes. In, she's a psychologist. She specializes in trauma, and uh, psychological trauma to be exact. And, you know, at first, obviously, you know, James doesn't want his sister's help. He lashes out at her and tells her to go away. And, you know, and it's not only until he realizes what Red Daughter is doing that he insists that his sister stay and help him go through, get through this. Only as a loving should, only as loving siblings and a loving sister should in this predicament. So I look forward to seeing what happens, what happens next week, man. This has been your boy, Sheriff Speaks, and I love you guys. Make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and also subscribe to my boys and my boy gaming. And so on. This has been your boy, Shiver Speaks. Peace and love.